Say it with us. I'm under. I'm under an open heaven. open heaven. What does that mean? We sing about it. We preach about it. The Bible declares in Deuteronomy 11 that the heavens were shut up. Disobedience, unbelief had caused the heavens to be shut up. God was dealing with his people. He was judging his people. I read in the scripture later on another occasion, three years of drought when the prophet, the prophet Elijah, at the end of three years of drought, not a year, not two years, but think about it. Three years of drought. When the prophet, he went to the king, King Ahab, and he said, I hear something that the natural ear cannot hear. I hear in the spirit that which is not tangible. He said to the king, I hear the sound. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain under an open heaven. Think about it. The sounds we will hear in this sanctuary this evening. The stringed instruments, the orchestra, the gifted, the talented, the songs, the anointed pen, the lyrics. All of it is going to be so beautifully anointed, awesome, and powerful. But can I tell you tonight, we will hear more than just the sounds of musicians, the lyrics. I said the lyrics of songwriters as they sing. But we will truly hear the sound coming from heaven. There's a sound. Can you hear it? I don't know about you, but the heavens are opening up. I said the heavens are opening up. The prophet Malachi said it like this as God spoke through it. He said, do what I tell you to do. Be obedient. Be believing. Bring me your tithes. Bring me your offerings. Prove me. See if I won't open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing upon you that you don't even have room to even contain. Can I tell you the windows of heaven are going to open tonight? I don't know about you, but I'm tired of a sporadic blessing. I'm tired of a temporary blessing. I want to live under and open heaven. Somebody want to shout under the Lord.
you believe it tonight? Come on. You've been waiting on it and it's here right now. Yes. Oh! 